The unstable ground makes Japan the last place on Earth an engineer would choose to build the world's longest suspension bridge. If the ground beneath a suspension bridge is shaken by an earthquake, we could, in the worst case, for example, get a tower toppling over, obviously a catastrophic event. The first line of defense against an earthquake is the bridge towers themselves. They're built from steel to make them flexible. If a tremor hits, the steel towers can move with the earth to absorb the shock. And inside each tower lies a second layer of protection, 20 huge pendulums called dampers. Each 10-ton dampener hangs from a frame. If a tremor causes the tower to lurch one way, the huge hydraulic dampers swing in the opposite direction, counteract the shift, and prevent the tower from falling over. To test the dampers in the absence of an earthquake, engineers resort to a novel approach. They carefully choreograph more than 100 workers to sway in perfect harmony to mimic a tremor. During this man-made quake, the dampers react to keep the tower steady. But on January the 17th, 1995, nature tests the technology for real. A magnitude 7 earthquake devastates Kobe, the city on the Akashi Bridge's north bank. It kills over 6,000 people and destroys more than 100,000 buildings. But the Akashi Bridge survives, saved by its dampers. It still bears the scar of that fateful day. The earthquake opens a fault line in the seabed directly under the bridge. This causes the ground and bridge towers to shift apart and stretches the bridge by over three feet. Engineers must fill this space with extra decking to join it to the shoreline. As a result of this earthquake, the longest bridge in the world became a little bit longer. The Akashi Bridge proves the strength of its record-breaking design in the most challenging environment. It is the culmination of over two centuries of innovation and engineering breakthroughs. After more than a decade of operation, it remains the longest and tallest suspension bridge in the world.